stay with me here. Just seeing if we can get the the stream at a healthy rate just to start out. This is gonna be a quick um a quick stream just so I can start this next game because we're in we're in kind of the eleventh hour. Like I'm actually playing this right now off of the EverDrive. Uh, just to get myself started with it, which I know is a little bit sacrilegious. I still have the Nintendo Power with it, but we're on Extreme G2, which is cool. Um, I've been kind of looking forward to this just to see what they can do with this game that'll be different than um, than the first one. Cool. So Extreme Contest, Atomic, yeah, easy. It's fine. Let's see what we got for bikes in here. It's pretty cool looking. I remember these. I remember a couple of these. Because I remember Grimace because it was all purple. And I was like, that's a coincidence. Uh, there's a lot of them, though. Okay. That's the one that's on the front. I think that's the one that's on the front of the first one, the green and yellow, unless I'm just, like, associating it because of the color scheme. Um, you get a real quick read on what bike I should pick. I don't know. I don't know, man. Ah. Zeomax, the perfect machine for beginners. So let's go with that one for now. So, um, we have a game. This is, this is so Acclaim and Probe, and Probe had done, um, I assume they did the first game, but Probe also sticks out to me because I'm, I believe that they did Forsaken as well, which is why I titled this video Forsaken, at least... One. For the beginning, for the stream. Oh, I had A down to, to accelerate. You always gotta guess that when you do racing games, right? Start out of the gate. Is it is it gonna be Z or is it gonna be A or is it gonna be B? It's usually not B. But um, it's interesting because uh, since this one came out, uh, Extreme G1 was, um, I believe, was first to market on these, you know, the futuristic racing games on the 64. Um, and I thought it did a pretty good job. Um, it's just, uh, I, I said it was a shame that, like, you know, you had to compete with F-Zero and Star Wars and, um, eventually, like, a bunch of other games. Wipeout would have come out eventually. I don't know what those things are doing. Oh, I'll be learning this. So I really, really just wanted to start this out so I could, um... I could get started playing this game, um, at everything 64 except for Deadly Arts because uh, I had been playing it. Uh, is packed up. Moving uh, a week from a week from Friday, and today is actually uh, the Fourth of July. So happy Fourth of July to all the people out there in America land. Um, yeah, that button is not the right button to actually use the things that are sitting on top of my bike. That's better. See right. C left is like you ditch it, C right is to use it. So that's pretty cool. Alright, I got that. Well that's that's disheartening. I <laughs> didn't even make the jump. Rear fire rockets. Okay, I should start listening to the to the lady when I start picking up these power-ups and whatnot. Oh and I got A A does the little the shooty, shooty, polluty thing. See down is to boost. See right is to use the thing on top of my head. See left is to get rid of it. That's for reverse camera. I'm still in second, and this person in front of me is should be close, right? It's more of the same thing. Ah, there you are. Oh, he's got rockets. Or some sort of weapon. Yeah, now I want to shoot behind me. Mort oh, mortar. So I know that she said motor. Like, upgrade to my motor? Like... Mortar. Let him pass me and then fucking fire on his ass. Or, you know, miss entirely and let him win, basically. I'm gonna lose because of that, aren't I? 
No, 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 no. We're almost there. Is it? Is it? Yeah! First place. Alright, alright. Not bad, not bad. We can do this. We can do this. Oh, the stream health is starting to dip, like, right fucking now. Um, like I said, I'm really just... I wanted to do this to start this game up and... And be able to play it, um... Be able to play it over the next week or so. Cool. So I'm gonna do whatever constitutes, like, one championship's worth. Right now. And then... Keep going, and I don't know what's going to be up for next week. Busy, busy, busy time. Shoot him! Okay. Ah. The crazy thing with this is there's actually... Um, there's four games in this series. I may have talked about this during the last one. When you start to get to the sequels, you don't know what you've said about things before. But, uh, you don't necessarily realize there's actually... What the fuck? So there's XG, uh, I think they just call it XG3. And then there's a fourth game on the PS2, GameCube. I think it's PS2 and GameCube, might be it. I don't know about Xbox. But I know for sure PS2 and GameCube is called Extreme G Racing Association. XGRA. And that is actually the fourth one, which is really, really confusing. Um, and I keep when I when I play Extreme G, this one and the last one, both of them. I've thought this. Um, I just keep wanting to talk about Kinetica, which is a PS2 game, the futuristic style racing game with like transformers that like turn themselves into motorcycles. And specifically, the thing about it being motorcycles is is why this game is the one that uh, that reminds me of it because these are bikes as opposed to cars and ships and whatnot in the other games, um, like Wipeout and F Zero and Arrow Gauge, that piece of trash. Oh no! Okay, be aware of that thing there. Opening. Well, in whatever case, I'm still doing okay enough to, like, move on, so I'm not, not bumming that hard right now. Okay. Oh, yeah, boost. I have that thing. Um... Fucking yeah, I always keep thinking of Kinetica, and the thing is, like, I distinctly remember Kinetica, and I own it, and everything like that, and then I realize when I go to say something about it that I, I, I haven't played Kinetica either, so I haven't really played Extreme G 2 at this point, I've only played, I've played Extreme G 1, because I played it, uh, not that, like, I want to say not that long ago, but it probably was a while ago, um, because it came out a year before this one. Um... And yeah, I haven't played Kinetica either, even though I own it. It's just the one that, that reminds me the most of this game. Of all the futuristic racing games that have come out at this point over the years. Um, and the fact that it's by Incog also, like, makes me want to believe, like, this is a great game. and Whatever. Um, so I assume it's good. Oh shit. Oh, it's one of those. <sighs> so what I'm getting out of this game so far is that the uh, the sense of speed is a little bit less than I've than I seem to recall. Definitely from F0. Zero. F0 Zero is the is like the king of that. Um the sense of speed, and, and this is also possibly because it's it's on easy, so you get the same thing like you get in Mario Kart. Um, it's less than Star Wars and less than F Zero, but uh, I don't necessarily like have a problem with that. I'm not saying like, oh, it can't even do this. It's just the way that it is. So, 
Just an observation. Oh, I keep doing that. Don't you fucking... I'd waited like half a second, I probably could have got that dude actually. Cool, third place. Third place is not bad. Third place is totally fine. Speed. Uh-huh. Just trying to check out some of these uh these bike statistics over here. In between the races. Alright. So this um Alright, cool. So it's a four four race championship, that's what I that's what you figure. Oh my lord, what is with my fucking stream health? Ugh, it's like right now that it start It's right when I look at it. It's always Oh my god, are you kidding me? Okay. Done.